Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have an announcement of how your Xbox Series X and S games are going to be looking even better. We also take a look at the Famitsu cells, and we have an interesting note for Kirby and the Forgotten Lamb from a certain retailer. But before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content on this channel. Now let's get started. First, coming to us from VGC, AMD has announced that its Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR upscaling tech is coming to Xbox. In a blog post, the company said the latest version of the frame rate boosting tech FSR 2.0 is set to be made available for Xbox game developers to use in their titles. Though for gamers, we do not have a timeline today of when you can expect to see any Xbox games with FSR 2.0. So if you're not familiar with FSR, this is AMD's rival to the much hyped DLSS technology. However, DLSS requires machine learning in order to work, and this seems to all take place in software. Now we've already seen FSR show up in Nintendo Switch Sports, and now it looks like it's going to be coming to the Xbox as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the graphics improve on different games coming in the future. Next, let's take a look at the Famitsu sales for Japan last week. We had Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin for the PS4 take the top spot, and it shows up again on the PS5 at spot number 4. And considering this is the debut week for the game, it's not that big of a surprise. And in spots 2 and 3, we have Pokemon Legends Arceus and Elden Ring. Both of these games continue to do well. We have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe continuing to be up there in the top. And in the bottom half of our top 10, we have Minecraft, Gran Turismo 7, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Triangle Strategy, and Mario Party Superstars. Now if we flip over to the hardware cells, we'll see the Switch, uh, various versions, taking the top three spots. Followed by the two versions of the PlayStation 5, and then the two versions of the Xbox Series systems. And then it looks like maybe we had some people who had their DS die and their PlayStation 4 die, so they just wanted to replace it. Now there's not a whole lot of surprise to this order, this seems to be the standard in Japan. We may have a mix up every once in a while depending on what hardware may be available. And in our last topic, in the video I made yesterday, I made a comment about, oh, I can just go pick up Kirby on Friday and save $10. And Walmart has been offering this $10 discount for quite some time now, but for some reason it looks like Kirby and the Forgotten Land is not getting the same treatment. You can see this tweet from Wario64, looks like Walmart in stores may not be doing the $10 discount for Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And as I go through the comments, I can see several other people verify this with their own pictures. And we even had somebody who was a Walmart employee post something from their back inside that showed, yes, the game is not getting the $10 discount treatment. So if you were waiting to pick this up for a discount, you might as well just go ahead and order it online. And this does make me wonder if this is a Nintendo thing or a Walmart thing. It doesn't look like Walmart has changed the prices of anything that's already out. Like when Elden Ring came out a few weeks ago, it was discounted on release day and it's still discounted today. So I guess we'll have to keep an eye on this and see what happens in the future if it seems to be just certain titles this is happening with. Or if Walmart is going to be stopping this across the board for any new releases. And that's all we have for today. Did anything we talk about interest you? What do you think about FSR coming to the Xbox? And do you think we may have seen the end of the $10 discount on physical games at Walmart? Drop a comment about that or any of the other topics we talked about today. I want to thank you for watching. Have a great weekend and be good.